Turn in. And was he definitely at the funeral? Blonde hair. Slim. About six foot. Yeah, I was talking to him. He stood next to me. He works on the building site next to the old CNA. Look, it might be nothing. I just think it's worth checking out. OK. Well, well thanks for telling me. I mean, we're still going to check Frank out, but, um, well, I'll keep you posted. She How are you anyway? Um, good, yeah. Um, Ruth had a scan yesterday and the baby's doing fine. Well, that's nice. Look, I hope everything works out for you. Give me a ring if this Steve's got any form, yeah? Yeah, of course I will, but it won't be till tomorrow because it's my day off. Uh, why didn't you say? I didn't realise. Give me a call if you find anything out. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. She still fancies you. No, she doesn't. What's she doing ringing you on a Saturday night, then? I think it's more like once a copper, always a copper. Come on. Stephen Wallington? Yeah? We'd like you to come down the station and answer a few questions. I found where all this has come from. You have conviction for grievous bodily harm in 1998. Yeah, and I did time for it. And you broke a woman's jaw. <laughs> it was an accident. I didn't mean to it that hard. Maybe Claudie's death was an accident. I told you. I hadn't seen Claudie in over two years, and then when I did see her, I didn't talk to her. Now, she was at a nightclub with some bloke. Well, it's funny that you can remember that, but you can't remember where you were or what you were doing. Hey, you! I've been trying to call you. Why didn't ever answer any of my messages? Because I've got a lot on at the minute. Well, I just wanted to tell you that we have charged Frank Pearson with Claudie Sanders' murder. Right. Has he admitted it? No, he's not admitted it, but he's admitted being in the hotel with her on that night. Hello? 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 With that number. He did the old one I left her, she was still alive routine, but he's guilty as hell. Thank God we got the DNA. So what about the first one, Hayley Miller? No, yeah, well, we know that he knew her, but that's about it. We haven't got anything to the link with her death. So is Richard off the hook? Hmm, for now. OK. Better go. Doesn't work. Listen, I do feel really bad about, you know, dragging Richard in and making him go through all that stuff. Oh, you were just doing your job. Maybe we could go out for a meal sometime and... OK, well, we've double-checked. And the room was definitely booked in the name of Frank Pearson. It was a double room. No adjoining door. No, you've got it wrong. I don't think so, no. And yes, you're right, she was strangled. But according to the pathologist report, death was caused by hanging. Not straightforward strangulation. There's nothing I can say is going to make you believe me, is there? I'm afraid not, no. OK, Tony, well, I think that's it. Greg might be back next week if you want to call in and never talk to him. You're making a mistake. You're going to regret this, I'm telling you. God, I never understand why people confess to stuff that they haven't done. What is that about? I think he really believes he killed her. He made it a reality. Oh, sod. Yep. Hey. You need a fancy drink? I'm finished. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Richard's looking after the kids. Greg's bringing Penny and the baby on this evening. Oh, God, what does she have? Little girl. Oh, nice. OK, another time. Yeah, well, give me a call. I will, because um, there is something that I need to talk to you about. Yeah, OK. What are you doing? Hello. Hey, Ange. Oh, God. How are you doing? Yeah. I was just wondering if you fancied meeting up for that drink. Oh, what tonight? What does she want? I've just got something I need to... Run past you. Can you not just tell me over the phone? Uh, not really, no. Hang on. Do you fancy a cup of tea? Yeah, it'd be nice. Um, it won't take long. It's um, just a bit of business that needs sorting out. I can't really talk about it on the phone. 
meet me at the guest room half an hour, say. Mm, is that the one down by the canal? Yeah, that's the one. I'll be sitting outside, I'll wait. See you there. Who was that? Work. I've got to go out. What time will you be back? God knows. Listen, don't wait up. I've got my key, OK? OK. Nice sweet time. See, in today's husband had had a revenge affair. What's that? What she had done with her years ago, and they hadn't talked about it. What, like us, you mean? No. Not like us. Well, it wasn't a fair. We weren't married. We weren't even living together. We've been seeing each other for ten months. You were staying at my place more than you were staying at your own. The truth is, I was never 100% committed to our relationship, Angie. You broke my heart, Linda. I was absolutely besotted with you. Sorry. I know I didn't handle it very well. You didn't handle it at all. I hope you found happiness with Richard. I thought I had. Why? What's the matter? It turns out he's infertile. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm sorry. A poor guy, and I've been putting him through it as well. That, that explains a few things. What do you mean? Well, why he's been going off the rails. He hasn't been going off the rails. Linda. He, he was sleeping with Claudia. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who has told you that? He did. When we interviewed him. I don't believe you. I'm sorry, I thought about Why not telling this? you, but I really thought you'd want to know. But... Well, this is very cosy. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? What's the point? What the hell are you both doing here? Um, I told you, this is work. I just think I'm really thick. Maybe one of you can explain why the Marion Hotel charged a bottle of champagne to your account. I really have no idea what the hell you're talking about. There it is. Black and white. You're embarrassing yourself. Do you know what? I don't care. Why didn't you tell me you were meeting Linda? Because I know what you're like. It's work. Linda, tell her it's work. All I can tell you, Ruth, is if she did have a bottle of champagne in a hotel, it definitely wasn't with me. It's just going to be the silent treatment all night, is it? What are you doing here? Tucci's gone missing, so I was just bringing in a photo. Oh, the poor thing. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry about Ruth. Oh, she just gets that way sometimes. It's OK. I think she was kind of reassured when she saw you um, get into Greg's car last night. Me left. I spoke to Richard. And he said you were lying about saying that he was seeing Claudia. Well, of course he's going to say that, isn't he? Hey, I was only telling you because I care about you. I've got to go. I'm back at work in ten minutes. It's always Greg, wasn't it? Well, that figures. Here they are. Well, well, well. No, I'll call you Look back. what the sewer spat out. Milk's off, so I thought I'd better offer your friend a glass of wine. Oh. Do you want some? No, thanks. What are you doing here? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing here, Linda. I came to ask Richard um, not to go around to my house anymore and harass Ruth. I didn't go around to your house to harass uh, because Ruth. Because if you I do, I'm going to gonna have to take out an injunction oh, against you. You've been saying things to Linda about me that aren't even true. I haven't said anything to Linda that isn't true. Why would I lie to her? She's amazing. Let's see this signed statement from me, then. Or let's hear this uh, tape recording that you must have of me saying something about having sex with Claudia. Well, you know as well as I do that I don't have either of those things because you told me off the record. <laughs> oh, off the record. Why would I do that? Why would I tell my wife's ex-bird, who's a copper, something like that? Yeah.